Are you okay to get started? Sorry? Are you okay to get started? Yes. Okay, so please introduce yourself. Uh, so I'm Nyaj Borges, I'm a graphic designer and illustrator uh, based in Brooklyn, New York. Can you please tell me a bit about your career path and what led you to the role you're in today? Um, so uh, I always was uh, interested in art and I went to school for graphic design. So I started working as a graphic designer and illustrator um, at a advertising agency in Brazil. And then I started working as a freelancer. And then um, that's what I do so far. Like I, I freelance full time. And, um, and then I also like make art uh, whenever I can. Like I make like a lot of illustrations uh, for my clients, but I also make uh, art on my free time. So you have an Etsy shop. Tell me about that. How did you get it started? What made you want to sell your art? Uh, yeah, I guess like people on Instagram were were asking uh, if uh, sometimes if I had prints available uh, and I didn't have because I never set up a store. Uh, so I decided uh, to, to open one recently, especially now that I have some extra time because I'm quarantined as everyone. Um, so I started the, the start. Yeah. So what does um, a normal day look like for you? Mm, usually I like answer emails in the morning and I uh, talk to a few clients. And then I start working. I usually like to also take some break uh, from work to work on painting. And then I go back to client work. And then at night I try to do like whatever I want. Sometimes I do, I make illustrations or sometimes I just relax. It really depends. So in your art, what would you say your style is or what do you try to incorporate into it? Um, I really like to use like a lot of bold colors and I like to depict women. I, I usually, or, or androgynous people, like I don't like draw like men generally. <laughs> I, I like to focus on women or people that look androgynous. And uh, I do like to explore like textures and like the brush strokes, even if it's like a traditional like paint painting or if it's digital painting. Um, so yeah, I don't know how to describe really, but I do like to like make, um, to portray women like in fun, like poses and really explore like a lot of like bold colors. Yeah. So would you say that you tried to show a uh, Brazilian culture in some of your artwork? Yeah, I guess I'm inspired by Brazilian women uh, and like the curvy body that a lot of Brazilian women have. Uh, so yeah, like I always think of that when I make my illustrations. So what would you say you least enjoy about making art and dealing with clients? I guess it really depends because as clients, like, I'm not necessarily like making art, right? I'm making a commission thing that sometimes is art and sometimes is more like design and like closer to like advertising, which I'm fine with. Um, so I guess the hardest thing about making art, mm, let me think. Um, I guess is that like today, I guess the social media can be like, there's like a little pressure on like, us uh, like making constant art, like and making everything fast. There's always like people putting stuff out there like very fast. 
Yeah. So sometimes I guess that can like some pressure and you know, like try to compare yourself to other people even though you're like you shouldn't. But um but yeah, I think that's a little difficult for me, like the whole like social media pressure. Like I do not like I do not love to be active on social media and making and like sometimes you have to like just make art for fun, right? And like sometimes it can turn like into an obligation instead of fun so i try to avoid that but but it can be a little hard sometimes would you say that surprised you when you started it the it surprised you that it kind of you had that pressure did you think that pressure wouldn't be there sorry what was the question you cut it a little um did it surprise you that there was so much pressure uh not really because i guess it's like not a real pressure right it's like something that me and other like uh, artists that i talk to we just feel uh that oh we have to put work out there and we have to like be constantly making new stuff so it's not like a real pressure it's more like something that we put upon ourselves so it's not like really surprising but um it's something that we should just like stop thinking, I guess, uh, but it's unavoidable, unavoidable all time, sometimes. Um, have you ever experienced any discrimination in your current career field? Um, no, not really. Like, I think I guess I've been lucky on that way. Like, I, I've, I've been getting like uh, well paid jobs and stuff like that, so not really. Uh, what's your thoughts about everything that's going on currently in the world with Black Lives Matter and feminist movements? What's your thoughts on all of it? Yeah, um, yeah, Black Lives Matter is definitely very important. Like, uh, like I told you uh, on my last email, uh, like I think it's like sad that all these people like had to die by like police brutality for all this movement start to happen but i'm glad that they started to happen so i think it's a very important movement and uh i'm also happy about how women are speaking out about all the feminist um um not issues but yeah our women's issues and inequality so it, it was about time because when I was younger, I guess people would talk about it. And of course there's women protesting since the sixties, but I feel that now like with the internet, like we get like a bigger platform to talk about all these issues. So it's really cool that like younger generations are also going to be more aware of all that. So yeah, it's really cool that. Yeah. So what are the biggest challenges you face during the week? during the week mm. with what i guess balancing you know like working from home which i i've done even before the the pandemic uh sometimes it's hard to like know where like work ends because we're just like working from home all the time so like that's the challenge i guess that i still deal with and um I guess also deadlines. Sometimes, like I have a lot of uh, work to deliver in the same week, so I have to like really organize myself and also avoid to get crazy <laughs> at the same time. So, so yeah. Um, where do you see yourself in yourself in five to ten years? Mm, yeah, I'd like to uh be making more like actual like paintings like uh, with paint not digital painting which is what i do most at this time but now recently i started to like do like actual paintings so i want to be making more of that maybe have an exhibition at some point in the long term um sometimes i think about starting like a clothing brand uh which I've been working and thinking about it, but it's, uh, it's kind of complicated, but maybe that's something that I will be doing in the 
in the near future. Yeah, so definitely. Mm -hmm. You got that. You got that. Oh, yeah, so definitely, like, just so that, like, improving my work and working on new projects. So, is there anything you would have liked to know before you started uh, selling your art and just moving forward with your career? I guess that like you always want to find like your illustration style. I think like many illustrators, I guess, struggle with that. And I think like you sh like people like should know that it's fine if you take a while to find your personal style. Like so, I always like wanted to find my style, and I'm still kind of searching for it. I think it's like a constant. Uh, you're constantly like evolving your style. So I think it's like, it, uh, if I could tell my younger self that it's fine and if it takes some time, it's okay. And eventually like all the things that you did when you're younger uh, are going to uh, apply and like work as uh, a source for what you're going to do in the future. So uh, yeah. Would you like to travel in the future? Do you have any plans to travel or study abroad? Yeah, uh, not study, but I, I love to travel. Um, I am I'm from Brazil and I live in, in New York. So uh, I would love to go to Brazil sometimes when I go every year to visit my family. But for now, I, I can't go there uh, because of the pandemic. Uh, so definitely, and I wanna go to maybe uh, Italy, which I love to go there. Uh, I've been a couple of times, so it was my plan to go there this year, but all this happened, so I hope, hopefully I'll be able to go there. So, Do you have any recommendations for young artists or artists that are inspired by your work? Uh, yeah, I guess just like keep studying and um, search for references, like always like have artists that you look upon and eventually you're going to find your own voice in your own style. And if it takes time, it's okay. And uh, yeah, you should always like try to make something really unique and that makes you happy. And then eventually someone will be into that. So who uh, is your favorite artist? Somebody that you often look up to? Uh, I love David Hockney. Uh, he's my favorite painter. Uh, I also like uh, Amy Sherrod. She's also like one of my favorite painters. So yeah, there's like a good amount of artists and like uh, other less like not so big names because David Hockney is like really huge, but like other like artists that I see online sometimes, but those are like, he is my, my main reference. As a kid, did you know you wanted to be an artist or was it kind of like you wanted to be this and then you finally realized you wanted to be an artist? Yeah, I guess for a long time I was just like being a graphic designer. And then because like in Brazil really, um, it's kind of like, oh, you, you can't make money being an artist, right? So in, not just in Brazil, many places, but um, so I was really focusing on graphic design, which I still work with, but I realized that, yes, you, like especially here in the US, I guess in, in New York, you can make money. And also in, in other countries, if you're like making art and selling online, you know, it is possible to make money also. So I started to like, um, spending more time on, progr on progressing my art because I saw that like people could be interested in it and I could also maybe make some money out of it because for a long time I was just like, oh, I need work, right? So I was focusing on design instead of art. So when I realized that I could like uh, put the two things together, so that's when I started focusing more on art. Do you feel like, uh the money and um, trying to figure out financial situations sometimes put people off of becoming an artist? Yeah, I think so, because 
I guess people can do whatever they want on their free time, right? You can go to work and then you can work on art when you get home. But I guess some people don't really think that, oh, like I, I could make money out of this or like sometimes people just don't have the time because they have like actual like jobs that they need to have to have money so yeah i do think that uh, finances is a big issue but i do also think that if you organize yourself and you really want to create art you can do like after work or whatever yeah so what made you want to move to new york uh, so I was working for clients here uh, already, like as a freelancer. So I decided to come here to spend some time. And I was taking, I, I took a few classes at the School of Visual Arts here. So uh, my plan was to just stay for a little while. And then I got an artist visa here in the US. So I ended up staying a little while longer. And uh, I had clients here, so it was like, it was easy to manage and uh eventually i got married to an american so i ended up staying so would you say that uh living in new york is sometimes as hard as people say it can be or do you feel like it's kind of it's kind of pictured as this city which is really hard to live in Mm -hmm. Yeah, I live in New York, it is, it is difficult because obviously things are way more expensive here um, and rent is expensive. So sometimes I struggle a little bit that because like I could be living anywhere else since I work like on, on from home and it doesn't matter really where I am. Of course, it helps me to be here because I have like clients that I wouldn't have if I was here. So but it has like good good a good side and a bad side right new york is really expensive so uh it is stressful sometimes and now i guess with everyone at their houses all the time everyone is wondering why do i pay so much to live in this small apartment uh, but uh, i like it anyway like i like living here i don't know if i'll live here for like the rest of my life but so far it's really cool to, to be here because like normally there's like a lot of things going on and a lot of art so yeah so final question what advice would you give to the people that are watching this that are inspired by you and want to do something similar to you if not the exact same um yeah i guess people should just do what makes them happy and uh, doesn't matter also like I was talking about making money out of art but like if you don't make money it's okay if you can afford to make art and still like you know have like a job or something so um, I guess just make whatever makes you uh, happy and always like keep searching for new sources of inspiration and like things around you and other artists. Um, yeah. Okay, thank you for letting me interview you. It was a pleasure to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, it was good to talk to you too. Are you in London? Pardon? Are you in London? Uh, no, I live an hour away from London. So I live in a small town called Nuneaton. Cool. Yeah. Uh, nice meeting you. You too. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.